Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of January 17th. We have a lot of fiery energy in the cosmic skies this week, a lot of, you know, strong kind of... Um, driven, motivated, passionate energy on offer to us. Whenever we get this strong, fiery energy, it can help us to get motivated, push forward. You know, it gives us that, you know, fire to get things done. However, it can also trigger our ego. It can trigger anger and frustration and, you know, those heated emotions. They can sometimes get lit on fire under this energy. We can feel a little restless and irritable. If we're dealing with a tense situation, this fiery energy may be a trigger to kind of, you know, amplify that. So just keep that in mind. As you move through the week, see if you can find a way to use this energy in a productive, positive, forward moving way. If tensions and, you know, hostility or irritability does come up for you this week under this fiery energy, the antidote will be grounding, grounding our energy, finding a way to center ourselves, to connect with the earth, to connect with nature, and to find the stillness that comes when we do that. Part of this sort of volatile, fiery energy that we have this week is due to the meeting of Uranus and Mars. Both of these planets are sort of, you know, fireballs in their energy. Mars is the planet of action and motivation and helps us conquer our fears. And Uranus is that rebellious, freedom-loving, you know, wanting to do things in a new way. It's that innovative energy. And when these two come together, it can kind of be like an explosion of, I just want to be free. I just want to leave all this behind. I want to let it all go and, you know, uh, liberate myself. It can kind of bring that type of energy. And while that's beautiful in many ways, it can also kind of create problems in other ways too. So we want to try to temper that energy and find our sweet spot, find our balance point between overcoming our fears and going for something, but then also thinking about, hmm, what are the consequences of my actions? You know, am I being led with my ego and, and in, a, in a sort of state of impulse rather than going within and coming from a place of stillness and awareness and conscious and higher consciousness? So just something to kind of keep in mind there with those two energies. They will come together on January 20th specifically, uh, but we'll feel this energy all through this week and all into the next week as well. That energy can create some volatility on a global level. It can bring extreme weather. It can bring, um, you know, tension between, you know, establishment versus anti-establishment kind of energy. But overall, it is a really good forward moving energy. We just have to be mindful of not uh, leading with our ego and just monitoring our own energy levels and staying grounded because it is a fiery energy. Whenever we have fiery energy, the chance of burnout is also high. So just keeping that in mind. This week, we also move into Aquarius season. So out of Capricorn, um, the sun will move out of Capricorn into the sign of Aquarius. This happens on January 19th, 20th, depending on your time zone. Of course, under Aquarius season, uh, we are under the influence of the air sign, under the influence of the water bearer. Whenever we're in an air sign energy, it's an awesome time for mental clarity and to sort of become the master of our thoughts and our thought processes and our, and our higher mind. So that might come up for you this week as you feel that shift from that grounding, earthy, very uh, tactile uh, Capricorn energy into this more air sign energy of Aquarius. Aquarius season brings some of the most powerful astrology we will see all year. So it's definitely going to be a busy season, a lot of energy to work with. So again, just being really mindful of that and keeping up with your self-care practices and, you know, aligning, balancing and grounding your energy, trying to come into a state of harmony because there is strong sort of fiery energy circulating, not just this week, but in the weeks to come as well. 
Okay, so I hope that's helpful. This is a week for grounding. We have no planets in retrograde at the moment or no major planets in retrograde. So use this energy to push forward. We can really push past our fears, our boundaries, our limits, but just be mindful of where you are, um, where your intentions are at. What are your intentions for the actions that you're wanting to make and take? So keep that in mind but push forward. All right, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.